Hey friends, what's up? Ash here, welcome back to Gents Sense. How are you? Fragrance haul time. Niche fragrance haul time. This is, uh, frankly, a disgusting amount of money that has been used. So I've got a big fragrance haul here. Eight different niche fragrances that I got in that I have never smelled before. All of them from Fragrance Buy. And also a little special something something, a little quick sale as well. We got a lot here. Something from Electimus, something from Moresque, something from Mansara, something from Raja Parfum, something from Ormond Jane. A lot of somethings. We got a lot to smell, we got a lot to cover. Let's do it. Guys, I'll have each one of these linked in the description below. Fragrance Buy actually did hit me up and asked if I wanted to do an associated little sale for you guys. Uh, and I said, here. So <laughs> that's linked in the description below. Basically what it is, is each one of these fragrances is from a different fragrance house. If you get a fragrance that is from any one of these fragrance houses, again, it's linked in the description, you can use the code niche lovers. It will get you free shipping on your whole cart. These are all marked off pretty heavily <laughs> as is. Well, actually, most everything from these brands. So that is going on. It is going on for 48 hours again as of this video. If you watch this in the future, it's not working no more, sorry. But there's a lot of stuff to talk about. Uh, let's jump into it, just grab a fragrance here and get it kicked off. I've already unboxed these because it would take an unholy amount of time, me sitting here and opening up each one of these. So we're gonna skip that part, otherwise this is gonna be way too long. First fragrance, Riviera Verbena from Parfums de Nicolai, Nicolai Parfumer Creator. And this is freaking awesome. If you like green fragrances, you do have to enjoy green fragrances, but I do, I do a lot. Extremely fresh, green, bright, lively, a perfect spring, summertime, daytime fragrance. Absolutely killer. Now this is obviously the 100 ml size bottle. This one right around $133 US. It depends on the rate of Canadian dollars to US dollars as to how much it will cost. If you're in the US, it'll fluctuate up and down a little bit, but it's right around there. Worth it, it is amazing. But one thing with this brand is that they also have 30 ml size bottles. So a little one ounce size bottle that's much cheaper. You can get a 30 ml of that for around 47, $48. So you don't have to go all in and get the big honking one, you could get a 30 mil instead. This has pedigree, mint, lemon verbena, citrus, musk, vetiver. It's been compared to Creed's Neroli Sauvage, but I think this smells better. Neroli Sauvage has kind of a, more of a throwback feel to it, more of an old school scent profile, whereas this one is much fresher. So that big thumbs up, F yeah. Up next, uh, Mysterious Oud. I'll be the judge of that. Shabad Maison de Parfum. So this one is like 37 bucks. It is insanely cheap for a niche fragrance. It is a 30 mil size bottle, pretty small. Uh, presentation is stock looking, <laughs> you know, not too much to write home about. Let's check it. Yeah, it's like a fairly fresh woody oud, not animalic, not dirty. Little fresh spiciness, kind of oud underneath. Similar in some ways to uh, Wonderwood from Comme des Garcons, which I have owned forever. It's not bad, it's not, really powerful. I like Riviera Verbena a lot more. That's more my style. Up next, we have Le Galion. Uh, uh, mm, uh, Google Translate. Tiul. Tiul. <laughs> Tiul. Gotta love it. That cap's magnetic, baby. Like the presentation, looks really classy. Punishing. It is strong in the opening. I should have given it a second. This one is sold out as of this video, but it was right around $90. It's just really powerful in the opening. So extremely green. It has that linden blossom right in the front and you have this honey sweetness with it just right alongside. Like powdery in a sense, but not powdery like from makeup or anything. Powdery in the way that a blossom can come across. It will be difficult for some people to wear and yet at the same time, extremely interesting to smell. That's very cool. I would wear Riviera Verbena over it, but between the two, which one is more unique? Uh, that one is. Also included as part of this, Raja Parfum Elysium. Now I already owned Elysium, but Raja Parfum was being made part of the sale where like if you buy anything from Raja Parfum, you can use niche lovers, get the free shipping. We all know Elysium, right? 
Yeah, it's a blue fragrance. It has a, a great sparkle to it, effervescence, almost evanescence to it, you could say. A lot of citrus in there, juniper, woods, fresh, clean, extremely easy to wear. It's an amazing blue fragrance. It's very good stuff. And for that matter, I also have Cidrapoise from Mansara, but Mansara is included as part of the sale. And Cidrapoise, what can you say? Extremely popular. I mean, it's one of the most hyped niche fragrances ever. A great fruity blast off the top. It's extremely appealing. Again, like Elysium, very versatile. Compliment puller, good performance. Some comparisons to Aventus with Cidrapoise and a good leather note as it dries down. But I am already very familiar with those, so let's keep moving to things I'm not as familiar with. Like uh, Ducida Paris's Splendiris. Splendiris. Yeah, I see what you did there. And I am a self-professed lover of Iris. So let's see how it stacks up. Ooh, it's good. Fresh, clean, a little bit more watery. Kind of an aquatic undertone, but not sea salty. Bit feminine leaning. A little sweet, not too sweet. It's also not a full-on makeup-y kind of Iris. It's definitely leaning that direction, but it doesn't go full bore into like creamy, heavy makeup. And this one is about 75 bucks, so great price. I really like that. We move on to Ormond Jane's Nawab of Oud Parfum. Now, Ormond Jane has some fragrances that I really like a lot. They do have kind of a common thread, some of them, the way that the woods are used, and this does have that Ormond Jane kind of DNA to it, that style. Oh, so awesome. Removing Elysium and Cidrapoise, because I already am very familiar with those. This and Riviera of Urbina so far, just mm, like, that's my style. And the uh, Ducida is good too. Now this one is a bit pricier compared to what we've talked about so far. It's around 185. It is a 120 mil size bottle, so it's also the largest one here. Well, tied with the Mancera. Nearly year round usage here. It has warm spices, fresh spices, a little bit of citrus off the top, a nice cardamom note that kind of plays along there where at times you'll pick it up, you'll pick up you know, that sweetness from it. And then the oud note here is, is pretty clean as well. You know, it's not really got a funk to it. It's extremely easy to pull off. Very classy, nearly year round. I would say summer, probably want to go for something else, but mm, it's good. Let's go Electimus up next, Austere. These Electimus bottles are hefty. This is noticeably heavier than everything else here. Great atomizer, oof. Looks like a pillar that would be holding up an ancient temple. Oof, that's strong, oof, packs a punch. This one was going for about 110. As of when I'm filming, sold out. So it makes sense, it makes sense why, because you're getting a lot for that money. Actually, the presentation is really good too. Like the box is very nice also. It's been compared to Blue Sapphire from uh, Boudicca the Victorious. Or is it Boudicca the Victorious? I haven't actually smelled that one though. I know, I know, bad me, but it has drawn those comparisons from multiple people. It has like a pungent spiciness to it with kind of a little barbershop flair but with a clearly defined clove aspect to it. And then a little bit like the hint of earthiness underneath it all, but not necessarily a dirty earthiness. The name makes sense. Like I said, it packs a big punch. So be careful with that one. But the quality for 110 bucks is pretty freaking crazy. Up next, a Moresque fragrance. Seta. <laughs> Seta. And these Moresque fragrances in the Secret Collection, they do not look quite as ostentatious as uh, some of the other fragrances from the house. Maybe you would think the gold inlay here on the front is a little ostentatious, but it's not compared to some of the others. But some of these are very good, and I am interested to see how this one is. Oh, okay. Oh. I am trying to place it. It's like a dessert, like a gourmandy, sweet, maybe kind of nutty dessert. Maybe a touch of like vanilla booze kind of. Ah, that's good. This one's about $75, worth every penny. And now that sort of faint, like, I wouldn't really say nuttiness, it was almost like a liqueur, like a sweet liqueur, has stepped back a little bit, hints of spice, warm spice, ambery kind of undertone. That's really good. That's one of the best ones here, easy. Last one, Oha, Oha, <laughs> from Teo Cabanel. Now this one, I'm expecting to be quite feminine leaning compared to what? smelled so far today. This one gonna run you about $80 to $95 depending on if you get a tester or a full presentation. Has a nice 
freshness, little green tinge, a good amount of rose. Fresh, uh, fresh rose, but slightly powdery. It doesn't really have that kind of water spritzed facet that rose can sometimes have depending on how it's used. It can have kind of like a, an aquatic undertone to it. This is a little more on the powdery side. You know, it's got like a slight kind of grandma feel to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it kind of does actually. It's like you got hugged by your grandma, which is not a bad thing when you smell it. You know, it's kind of like comforting in a way, but would I wear that? No, no. Taylor Cabanel does have some good fragrances for men or fragrances that men could wear. That is not one of them. So of the fragrances that I had not owned, worn before, obviously getting rid of Elysium and Citra Pate, Riviera Verbena, love it. Nawab of Oud, love it. And Seda, love it. Seda, don't care, love it. And I would say this guy, very interesting. Much more difficult to wear than the three I just mentioned, but an interesting smell. And Austere, this one, maybe along with the Ormond Jane, the classiest of the bunch. And for 30 bucks, 35 bucks, I don't at all mind Mysterious Oud. Maybe I'd give it a little more push, a little more punch, but this is good too. So there we go, that's the haul. That's a big one. And also tacking on the Raja and the Mansara to make all of those fragrances be included as part of the Niche Lovers Code. So again, linked in the description, good for 48 hours, get yourself some free shipping. So if you just wanna buy like one or two bottles, because usually if you buy five, you get free shipping automatically in the US, but if you just wanna buy like one or two, then you can use that code and you know save a little bit of money. All right guys, that'll do it for me. Thank you for hanging with me. Stay safe out there. See you tomorrow with another fragrance video. Shoe order. Thank you.